the Scottsdale Art Show. This doesn't look like too much here at the entrance, but as you'll see later, there's a hundred of the best artists in the United States inside here. And these tents go on for miles and miles. Well, we're here at the uh, Scottsdale <laughs> Art Show, and every artist here is outstanding. And here's one in particular. This item caught my eye, and we're with the artist himself. This is Michael Jones. So, Michael, could you explain? what this unique piece is. I certainly can. Thanks, John. This, this is my family hands. Uh -huh. so it, it, it's a piece that I've done for many years. It's a very personal piece. It is everybody's hands traced in a family. This one happens to be my own family. Uh -huh. and, and this is actually my hand right here. Uh -huh. so, but you have, it's generational. Uh, myself, my wife, Yes. Our, our four children, so this yeah. is Matt, Jesse, Don, and Casey, all attached to us. So sure. children are always attached to parents. Yes. So then, then we also have a spouses. So my son Matthew is married to Jackie, and my grandson Zachary. Sure. So, uh, my daughter Jesse is married to Joe with Joseph and Joshua. Yes. Um, my son Donald with Lisa, and they have Michael and Brady. Our youngest daughter Casey is not married yet. Well, you got room for her guy right here. So <laughs> families continue to grow and and, sure. and, and and change all the time. This it's a it's a really personal family heirloom. And 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 a unique way of looking at things. I've never seen anything like it. What if uh, I or one of our viewers here would like to have that done for for their? Is it possible to commission you to do that for yeah, them? Yes, sir. It is. You know, so you trace trace every family members hand in it. It's just on any piece of paper we'll do. Sure. Uh, it's the old kindergarten, trace your hand right. for it. And then print your name and the birth date. I do stamp the names and birth dates. Uh -huh. And I do that on both sure. sides. On both sides. Yeah, okay. So that's a nice way to do it. Right. And, and then uh, uh, send those to me. The, the price is $65 per hand. And, yeah. and, and what I ask for is a 50% deposit, final after you receive them. Uh-huh. Coming so. back in the UPS or whatever. Yes, sir. Uh-huh. Gee, what a unique thing. And on the back wall here, I see you're not limited to just this piece. You, <laughs> you have uh, a marvelous array of stuff. Can we go look at some of it? Yes, sir, John. Let's, let's do it. Well, what a handsome piece to put over a fireplace. My gosh. Tell, what's the story of this uh, feather? Well, is, uh, this is my interpretation of eagle feather. Of course, it must have been a very big eagle, but that, yeah. I'm <laughs> opening it that way. You know, right. This, as with all my pieces, I do one-of-a-kind pieces. Uh -huh. This is all done by hand. Yes. So if you, if you see a detail, all the veins that you see in this feather, yes. uh, I've hammered out with a one-inch chisel. Uh -huh. uh, it, it, it's been red hot several times. Yes. Uh, I try to do one feather a year. I uh -huh. don't always accomplish that because it's a very labor-intensive piece. Yes. Uh, but but it, it's become one of my signature pieces. Uh -huh. It's always interesting how Popular that piece with the collectors? Very popular. Uh -huh. this, this piece just sold uh, a half hour ago oh. to some folks that, that first looked at one 10 years ago oh. and have been looking for me ever since. Yeah. <laughs> so so it, it was not a hard sale. Oh, uh -huh, yeah. no, for sure. Yeah. So uh, you'll keep this for the duration of the show and then uh, deliver it to them or mail yeah, it to them? They, or? they are very generous and let me do that and then I'll ship it to Minnesota. After oh, is that to Minnesota, huh? Yes. So, Gee, that's fun. beautiful, fun. beautiful, beautiful. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Uh huh. And uh, now down here, this fire fireplace grate. Oh, this well, is do, a lot of work in that. I do a lot of fire screens. Fire screens are very personal to me. Uh, uh -huh. A fireplace is always a focal point in a home. Sure. So, so you can finish and tie an entire room together with a beautiful fire screen. Yeah. So this one, of course, is very busy. And a lot of color. This happens to be my personal fire screen. Uh -huh. And my home studio is in Montana. Uh -huh. I call this piece Heading Home. Uh -huh. And this is going to be an outdoor piece. It goes into a, a, 
a big stone niche I see. behind the swimming pool. I see, I see. And uh, when they commissioned you yes. to do this, did, did you sketch this out for them ahead of time or talk to them about what you wanted on it? Or Well, I, I, I spoke with them, visited the, the home, and then, then designed it. Just got a feel, and, and I designed that for them. Uh -huh. So I, I've done a lot of personal shields over the years, and uh, uh, it was always debuted on my website as well. Uh huh. Yes. What is the uh, website? It is Michael Jones Designs. Okay. Dot com. And Simple enough. Yes, Michael sir. Jones Design. Dot com. Yes. Oh, that'd be great. And you have a little bit of history and show some of your other work. Oh, 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 yes. You know, there's 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 30, 30 plus years of work that you'll, you'll see, and it's very current <laughs> now. Uh, I'm thrilled. Just launched this new website, uh -huh. and, and so you'll, you'll see that, that things are... Well, my work has evolved uh, from being a very purist, wrought iron, hammered iron guy, uh -huh. to, uh, to using some color, some, some poly steel, and even I've, I've allowed some pieces to rust, which uh -huh. was, I would never let happen before. <laughs> okay. So I, I'm loving the beauty of, of, of the steel altogether. Uh -huh. So. I've, because of the commission work, yeah. people will, will come to me, have a space, and will ask me to come in and design a piece for their, their home. Yes. Well, that, that, there's, that's going to be, uh, it's going to be incorporated in the design as architectural style of a home, geographical location, sure. and their interest as well. Yes, so, I so see. That, that, that's something I'll take when I start the design process. So the piece in its final form really means a personal uh, attachment to the to the person. A a a absolutely. Yeah. Not everybody that walks through the door is going to understand that. No. But, but, but the owners, the, the clients, the, they, they understand what hey. that is about. How beautiful. I, yeah. I love, it's a very personal thing and I love to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I saw in your catalog a number of gates. This is a, one of the smaller gates, but I've seen gates across the front entrance to homes but uh, these are beautiful gates and these this one actually is a bird feeder if if I'm it, it, looking it, at it right you are you know the sunflowers you know it's kind of that artist thing of <laughs> wanting to ha have an interactive piece of art uh -huh. so this is a sunflower gate that, that I actually designed for some very good friends uh, the big that are collectors you know you all uh, seem friends or collectors, what I should say, become friends. Uh -huh. I mean, it, it's a wonderful thing. So, sure. so design this. Every piece on here has been red hot. It's really symbolizing some flowers at all their different stages. Uh -huh. uh, and uh, I, I just wanted to have a little bit of an interactive, so put put some bird seed in there. And uh -huh. we haven't had any quail here yet. But, but <laughs> had some dove and, and some finches. So. Uh -huh. But we're hoping for some quail, though. Uh huh. Yeah. Well. Uh, Quail are a little skittish, and so <laughs> it'll take them a while to find it. But once they do, oh boy, <laughs> you'll, oh boy. they'll be back. Uh, I'll, I'll be filling up the leaves every day. That's so. right. That's right. And what's here in the back? Oh, my, this, this is, is one of my new mountain uh, skylines. Uh, this is a new piece for me. This is, as I had mentioned about the rust, this is designed to, to go natural. Uh huh. This is, so every texture that you see here uh, uh -huh. will become different colors and that'll be the natural uh, fr from the rainwater. It's the nitrogen uh -huh. and the rain that will actually bring those colors out. I see. Uh, it, it's a wonderful panel to to have behind a pool to stop your eye, give you a little privacy. I should say. Uh, in front of a wall and in, in, in just... Yeah. It, 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 it's, I'm, it's a new piece. I'm very excited about it. It's also designed to be backlit that through the mountains Oh, you could get uh, shimmering light out of there, oh, or you will you kind kind of uh, backlit? It'll wash across this surface. Uh -huh. This burnished surface here will just pop, and sure. you, so you, you, the depth. Oh the, yeah, these colors will be just phenomenal. I can see that. Yes, you're really seeing the birth of this piece. Ten years down the road, the, the, this it's just going to be outrageous. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, so I'm gathering that uh, an active artist like yourself doesn't just stick with one design. Oh, never in a million. You know, it, 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 you know I've always followed my heart. Okay. And, and what I've found is, as an artist, when you follow your heart, 
people respond to it. Uh -huh. And as you do that, it allows you your, your next step. You're going to step out, and I, I think it's so important yeah. that, that artists work evolves uh -huh. and continues to evolve and just as collectors we evolve and you, know, you obtain more knowledge and, and the, you, you see things and I, I truly believe that that we're in a time of, of, of art that would be looked back on as, as a very representational time mm -hmm. the, the, you know the 60s and even 70s their work was done that things were put together very abstract and really did not have a representation. Yes. And I think we're way past that, and, and what we'll be looked back on that that art can be abstract, but but it still needs to have some kind of representation, some kind of inner soul, kind some kind of meaning. So the person looking at it can understand it somewhat, and then get deeper into it. Absolutely, uh -huh. absolutely. It, it, it's always going to be more than just face value. Always. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Another new piece. Yeah, now I saw in uh, your catalog there, I saw one of these uh, above a fireplace stretching along a wall that, that looked extremely attractive. Now, is this meant to be outside? The, 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 this is an out, out, outdoor freestanding piece. Uh -huh. uh, the, the, the piece that is on my website, and you've seen him in the yes. book there, was a 32 foot piece wall hanging. Yes. That, uh, very, really a challenge. Uh, even to get it through the door was uh -huh. a challenge, and then uh, it was an eight-hour installation to get it up on the wall. Oh. It, it was it was difficult, but yeah. well worth it. Looks attractive. This, this is really there. There's my inspiration here. It's really kind of a combination of a lot of things. Very much some from Frank Lloyd Wright. Uh -huh. No question, some Montreal. Yeah, uh, uh, I've had people say uh, a little bit of Calder, but but I think that's more just because of the colors, quite frankly. Okay. Because uh, you know we associate colors, we associate circles, and sure. The bottom line here, this is pure Michael Jones. Okay. And so it's not a Clee or anything like that. It, it, this it is, is it is not. This is okay. Yes. Uh huh. And so I have done that. It's a newer body of work. And, yeah. And have have done. Uh, uh, quite a few examples of it in different situations. Now, do you you come in? You it was new to me what you were just saying about actually installing the piece. I do. I I deliver and install all my pieces. Uh huh. You know, there's uh, uh, first of all, a lot of pieces are, are large, monumental pieces. Yeah. Uh, uh, they're my babies. They're my uh, creations. Right. I, okay. I, I want to install them and know that it's done right uh -huh. and, and, and I, I love to see where they go uh -huh. this this is the celebration of fine art here in Scottsdale uh -huh. my 16th year here this is the only show that I do uh, oh. so because I do all, all commissioned pieces yes uh, when, when the show is over I will be my palette will be full right for the next year it, it, yeah all that I can physically do uh-huh yeah. isn't that isn't that marvelous so that's it, oh, uh, it's a blessing and and you've been at art you said for a number of years 30, 33, 33 years, years yeah. I've been a full-time uh-huh uh-huh you know.